Have a nice day student. Today we discuss about the why to be funny. First of all, why do we fall ill it means why the disease appear in our body or why the pathogens enter in our the body and how they are enter in our body. So first of all we discuss about the health. What is the meaning of health? Health is the state of physical and mental and social well-being of well-being of living being is called health or health how we can say the person is healthy so if the person is healthy it means he has no symptoms of the disease it means there is no pathogens in their body it means there is no deficiency of nutrients if we call them person is healthy then he has no deformity in their body uski body mein koi bhi deformity nahi hogi means uski body puri tarah se fit hogi aur usme koi bhi physical abnormality nahi hogi if the person is healthy it means usko koi bhi mental and psychological problems nahi honge it means person free from mental and psychological problems all the body organs perform functions properly then we call them person is healthy but what is the significance of this health so first of all the significance of the health of a person is so the significance is the working efficiency of a person become satisfactory or the working efficiency of the person will be very good if the person is healthy it means is working efficiency or working power of the body will be satisfactory or well will be good now another important feature of the health the person contribute the contribute in the growth and development of the country or nation so on which factor the human health or person health is depend so here the basic two concept on which the health is depend so first we call them personal health and second we call them community health second is community health first, first personal health personal health is related with the person while the community health is will be depend on the society and the members who related with it so we call them community health personal health and community health both are the necessary for a healthy person now personal health means there is no disease in their body it means person physically and mentally fit physically and mentally fit person now another important feature of this personal health person having no germs no pathogen in their body and he consume the fresh food or without any contamination food so it means personal health depend on a particular person because it is related with the person while the community health it will be depend all the members of the community like provision of or providing of clean drinking water clean drinking water and providing the medical facilities so these all things are provided by the community it means providing the clean environment or pollution free environment so these all things are provided by the society or community to a person so these all things are depend on the community so we call it the community health now here the one important thing is what is the disease disease it means person is not comfortable this is it means person is not comfortable so we call them disease person but here the two different terminology first we call them disease another we call them healthy person disease person and healthy person they are the two persons so we having the difference between two things healthy person and 
डिजीज फ्री पर्सन एंड डिजीज फ्री पर्सन सो हियर टू कंडीशन आर देर वन कंडीशन इज हेल्दी पर्सन और हेल्दी कंडीशन एंड अनादर इज द डिजीज फ्री पर्सन और डिजीज फ्री कंडीशन डिजीज फ्री मीन्स एबसेंस ऑफ द पैथोजन इट मीन्स देर इज नो पैथोजन पैथोजन इट मीन्स देर इज नो सिम्टम्स ऑफ डिजीज ऑन देयर बॉडी ऑन देयर बॉडी इट मीन्स पर्सन फ्रॉम फ्री फ्रॉम डिजीज सो वी कॉल देम डिजीज फ्री पर्सन इन अनादर कंडीशन वी कॉल देम हेल्थी पर्सन हेल्थी पर्सन इट मीन्स पर्सन हैविंग देर वेल मेंटल फिजिकल एंड सोशल वेल बी सो दिस कंडीशन इज नॉन एज द हेल्थी पर्सन Now, another important terminology here: manifestation. Manifestation of disease. Manifestation it means the effect of disease on the body. So the various disease affected the various body organ. For example, TB. TB affect the lungs. So the manifestation or effect of TB on the body part we call them lungs. Same case in the case of. joindis or hepatitis in the case of hepatitis disease the disease affect the liver of a person so the liver is the body organ on which the disease produce the effect same case in the case of malaria malaria is the protozoan disease in which person suffering from the fever this affect on the rbc of the blood and so many disease occur in our body which affected the particular body organs or body part so we call it the manifestation of disease another important classification of the disease on the basis of their duration so one of them we call them acute disease and another disease we call them chronic disease so acute disease and chronic disease acute it means the disease which occur for short duration chronic it means the disease which present in our body or in a patient body for long duration for long time or they are not easily curable we call them chronic disease so what is the basic features of acute disease and what are the basic features of chronic disease in the case of acute disease they are the short term disease these disease can easily curable within a few days or they are the chronic disease are long term disease they present in the body for long time so we call them long term disease now another important feature in the case of acute disease they are perfectly curable it means after treatment person become free from disease it means they are the curable oblique they can treat or they can remove from the parents uh, patients so this is the disease which is curable this is the non curable because it cannot cure completely from the body so this is the incurable or non curable incurable disease so this is the two important difference and another important difference in the case of acute and chronic disease in the case of acute disease it will not affect the body for long time so the patient become very easily recover or patient become recover after the treatment so patient become completely recover after treatment in this case the person totally completely free from the disease in the case of chronic disease the disease remain for long time it means patient does not completely recover recover so this is the acute and chronic disease now what are the regions or pathogens of the disease so in our surrounding many living beings which causes the disease we call them pathogen pathogen it means disease causing organism the organism which cause the disease we call them pathogen for example bacteria is also disease causing organism second one we call them virus third we call them protozoan these all are the pathogens which cause the disease and another region which cause the disease that is the lack of nutritious diet and lack of medical facilities or public services these are the responsible for the disease 
Thanks for today.